So if you didn't see the first video, you probably be like, well, what's the significance of getting this old bike running? So this is obviously 1986 FXRD. So it was the dresser version of it. So basically it's, it's the bike that my dad passed away on. He was riding and got hit by a car. And, and so that's, that's the significance of getting it running. It's not a race. It's coming out here every day, kind of making minor changes and improvements and just it's a therapeutic process and it's something I've really enjoyed and I really enjoy all the um, the comments I've been getting. You guys have been been great and supportive and hopefully it helps other people out who have maybe lost a loved one and and still want to let their legacy live on. I think it's it's been a great process and hopefully uh, you guys continue to enjoy it. And I think what I've decided to do is we decided that we're definitely going to keep the same theme, um, the black and gold, just because that was dad's colors. And so we're going to continue with that and uh, see how it goes. So you can see how tweaked these bars are. I, I'm not sure if the bushings are completely blown out from the crash or if the triple top of the triple clamp in here is actually stripped out so i'm hoping it's just gonna be the bushings i did get a new set of um, speed kings good and tight bushings these are the best ones in my opinion that you can run so we're gonna throw these on there hopefully that fixes the problem if not well i got another um, triple clamp i can throw on there Luckily the triple clamp and the bottom of the bars there weren't stripped or anything like that. The bushings were completely deteriorated. You can see how they just crumble and then the bolts themselves were actually pretty bent. So when I pulled the tank off to clean it, I noticed there was a small pile of dirt sitting on the upper motor mount there. And it just kind of reminded me how real this whole process is. That dirt's been sitting there since my dad's last ride. And yeah, just kind of crazy. Walk around the other side of the bike here. Got the rear fender off. Rear struts, got those on order. Uh, brake pedal, still got to fix that. Rear shock's pretty bent, as you can see here. Um, obviously, I'll be replacing both the rear shocks, but I think this, this one took a big blunt of the crash. So the tank had a lot of corrosion in it. You can see here on the petcock, this is after I cleaned it. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and replace it. There's tons of rust. Um, the fuel lines were all dry rotted and cracked. So we'll get all those replaced. Little more up close view of the tank and rear fender. Tank's pretty good condition. There's a small ding right here. Rear fender shot, but I got a new one of those, so I'll just keep this, put it on a shelf or something. Um, my dad's best friend, he knows a painter, so we're actually gonna send the tank back to California and they're gonna replicate the paint job, so pretty stoked on that.
have like a short or something in here because all right so i got the new battery in there um i attempted to try to start it the other day but i think the starter relay is bad um i'll go ahead and show you guys what it's doing so you can just hear it clicking i messed around with the wires here and it almost fired up so i'm gonna go ahead and replace that today and see if that fixes the problem Alright, so this is just my little homemade Ivy bag for the bike, I guess. You can order these things on Amazon for like 25 bucks, but basically I just took a bottle, got a nipple, put a hose on it. Um, I pulled the tank off. Tank's got a lot of rust, obviously, from sitting for so long with half a tank of fuel in it. So I'm going to throw this on here since I know it's got clean gas. And then we'll try to start it up. Hopefully that fixed it. I'm kind of bummed I didn't get it completely running yet, but like I said, it's it's more of a process and a journey than it is a race for me. It's there's there's a lot to be said about just coming out here and, and taking your mind off things and really enjoying it. So hopefully I'll get it running here. Um, I'm gonna go through clean the carb. Uh, once I clean the carb, and I think there's some jets that are clogged. Should have it running soon. Now, some people may think that's the bike your dad passed away on why would you want anything to do with it and you know that was my my thought process for a while on it was you know scrap it i don't want it but then uh you know so much time has passed that i feel like it, it's kind of like letting his legacy live on you know it's something he enjoyed it's something i enjoy it's something we're both passionate about so why not continue that and you know be able to ride it and enjoy it and, and just a conversation piece you know just something to talk about something to share uh, just reading a lot of the comments you guys wrote there's um, everybody's got a story and a lot of people have been touched um, whether they knew someone or lost someone a lot of people have been touched and a lot of people have a, a story and so that's the really cool thing about it you know so on my first video I said it was a 94 um, it's actually a 1986. I saw the tins and, and just kind of went with it. I ended up getting the title in the mail shortly after and saw it set in 86 and when I was actually working on it, the uh, for all my FXR guys out there, you know the, the shock mount location and the rear fender struts are completely different because I actually had a set of 94 struts off of a, another build that I was going to throw on there and those didn't work because they're completely different. So. I got a set of the 86 struts on order and hopefully we'll get those in soon. This is where it sits now. Got the oil pan underneath of it because obviously when I was turning it over, they uh, start spitting oil if they sat for a long time. That's just an old fender I had laying around. Once I get the fender struts and the shocks off, bolt it all up. Um, like I said, I gotta take the carb off, get that 
cleaned out and hopefully hopefully it'll be running real soon so stay tuned